you're very nice. You brought this this uh, this version die of die cast, yes. This die cast. That's the Indy 500 car. So that's a this, special man. edition. We don't even sell those, Rich. This is so very a, impressive. Ooh, um, very special thing. I love it, and it's got uh, on it an inscription. Uh, Rich, happy birthday. Because I was told it was your birthday, It's all Rich. good. No, you're a few months late, but it's okay. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> well, it's the first time I've seen you, so it's still valid. And then what it says here, I think I think, I think think I read what it says uh, with your autograph. Very much appreciated. Go Bucks <laughs> is what it Bucks. says right here, right? Is that don't what it think says? I could ever give you anything and not say it Go It says Bucks. Go Bucks on it, and you don't. I, when did you become a Milwaukee fan? No, no. Winning the championship. Yeah, you know, you know where I'm going with that. When, when did you? When did you start? I'm not a from Milwaukee fan. Oh, you're not a, okay. I feel like oh. saying "Go Buckeyes" is okay. very uncomfortable. Understood. That's way too long. So I've got a trivia question. Uh oh. When was the last time Michigan beat Ohio State? No, uh, no. It's a little more current than that. Yeah, it's more current. Graham, yeah, it's more current. Yeah. Current. So you've heard you heard how Oklahoma and Texas joined the SEC, right? Yeah. Sort of upset a whole apple cart yeah. and started a, a a domino effect. Yes. Where you know, and Cincinnati is now going to the Big Twelve, yes. right? So a lot of dominoes moving, and so the Big Ten reached out to the Pac-12, yeah. and the ACC to form what they called. An historic alliance. Yeah. Okay, there it is right there. There's the the graphic right there. ACC, Big Ten, and the Pac-12. So in the history of the historic alliance, which is not vast, it's only a couple weeks, uh, which team (laughs) won the first game in the history of the historic alliance amongst conferences from said historic alliance? Which one for the Big Ten came up with that one. I'm going to guess it's your team. That's correct. It would be Michigan. <laughs> it would be Michigan. That's correct. And I'm writing it down to make sure that we remember it over Washington. Well, Washington is terrible. Well, terrible. I don't know if I would call kids who try and compete terrible. Okay. Graham. I mean, a win. A win is a win. And I, just, I will say, look, I knew that this was going to get heated today because you guys look a, a lot better. I mean, I don't know what else to say. No, we do. I mean, but but again, once they play Michigan State, it's still early. It's still early. But when you're trying to strike a blow on behalf of a conference um, and you get an opponent in your house from another conference in the historic alliance, you want to you want to stand your your ground on behalf of others. So there's a lot of depression. in so then then you got you got the first part of the trivia question correct let's see if you can complete it which team failed oh i know that team. in the first <laughs> attempt at I trying know. to win one for the historic alliance the big team. 10 which team was the first team we, uh, the first time we've ever lost which team to was Oregon. That? it's just and it, it, the hint is they're inscribed on this beautiful cast iron <laughs> car. yeah i'm well aware rich oh. I didn't have a, I didn't that's bring a lot of ammo for you today because okay. I do. That's all I got. That's a, I'm out. I'm out of. I'm, I'm out of uh, my trivia whole questions. Season, yes. My whole season, and it's not even mine. It, uh, but my as a fan, yes, is now just can we beat Michigan? You know what? It's ridiculous. That's really all I. That's so at stupid. This stage, it's so stupid. You got a whole schedule in between. Like the other games don't matter. I mean, not really that? at this stage. I mean, that's the one. That's it. That's the one. Because you know, it's, again, we don't live for it. We don't live for you. You know what I mean? We live for 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 going a to season. Rome and you know yeah. doing all these fancy things. <laughs> yes, we don't. we're trying to live our lives. But um, look, the number of times I'm already hearing it. I'm hearing it from you. I'm hearing it from others, and I, I'm about to hear it from you. Oh, the defense. You might you might be able to get us this year. I'm hearing that already, and I don't want to hear it. With Ohio State's even. Yes. Yeah, but they were bad last year too, and the year before that. So you're concerned? It's going to be a gunfight. Like, I think it just comes down to who who can score the most. And I don't know. You know, I mean, you may not have even seen this, but they just announced that C.J. Stroud starting quarterbacks out for this weekend. Right. Um, so you're going to see two other. That's the thing with Ohio no, State. Please. I will say, and you can even admit this, they are so young that I don't understand. Like, you have four freshman quarterbacks, two redshirt, two true. Right. I mean, at some point, you know, all I know, just, there's no experience there. Is the all problem. I know is that there was a quarterback once upon a time in your school, not so long ago, who I was told, in fact, by Ryan Day himself when he called into this program, that he's really green. He's really green, and I don't know what he's going to be able to do. We're going to try and coach him yeah. up and all that sort of stuff. And he threw 50 touchdown passes. And this was after the green kid went into a game in the big house when JT Barrett got hurt. Yeah. And I thought, okay, that's good for us. And Dwayne Haskins, no, Dwayne Haskins lit it stuff. up. So I. I think he's gonna. I, I hope that for Dwayne, like he was, Dwayne Haskins is awesome. I hope that the Steelers are in, uh, like some sort of a good opportunity for him to get outside of what happened in Washington because right. he that kid had tons of talent. Now 
he didn't play much in college, right? He only played one season and then, you know, and then moved on. And, right. you know, and obviously you got Fields who's going on hopefully this weekend. Big have a weekend, good first start. man. This so. is, I think he, I, I, I think he's going to be just fine. I think he's going to be really good, actually. Smart kid. I mean, smart player. So, Look, I mean, we'll see. we just Graham Rahal here on the Rich Eisen Show. We just established that Urban Meyer was quoted by the head coach of the Denver Broncos, Vic Fangio, as saying it's like playing Alabama every week in the NFL. Like, look, man, I mean, Justin Fields threw the entire route tree on top of Clemson. Oh, yeah. I mean, Big he time. was phenomenal. Big time. In that game. And Clemson's defense, you know, half of it's been drafted by the Raiders and yep. Mayhawk pretty much over the last two years. I just think the moment's not going to be – too big from he's back in Ohio yeah. which I don't know if that will matter to him or not I it's in Cleveland but I mean it's just there'll be Buckeye fans in the stands I don't know if they'll be rooting for the Bears or not but I just I well, kind I mean, of believe in the strong. kid I mean if you look like jersey sales what they say he's third highest jersey sales since the draft and you know he's uh he's he's a heck of a player and I mean I just I don't know man I feel like you know Andy Dalton's had how many chances now and it's just not working out and I understand he got hurt but like right. you know Fields is a guy like I, I think Fields is certainly capable you look at like what um you know what Shanahan's doing with with uh with Trey Lance like get just getting him in letting him do some plays I mean he's been able to score he's been a part of it I'm mm-hmm. um, working him in like I mean it doesn't feel like Fields has really had that opportunity sure he's played one or two plays but mm-hmm. not not much and it'll be interesting to see what happens when he can get in and just kind of play play a whole game. Um, the kid is so talented. He is. I mean, he is so talented. Like, yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no reason to believe that he, you know, they if they want to say that he's not ready, then how are any of the other guys? They're ready? not. Like that's the thing. Like, They're when not. are you ready? I mean, I guess you got to you got to go and you got to play and um, and you're gonna learn. You're gonna throw some picks. You're gonna have some ups and downs. But I just feel like uh, I feel it's a good opportunity for him. Yeah, and uh, I'm excited to see you know excited to see what he can uh, what he can do. No question, I totally agree. And with I'm you. not even a Bears fan. My whole family's from Chicago. I find the Bears mostly annoying. Mm-hmm. Probably like people find Ohio State fans mostly annoying. Yes, but I am excited to see it, you know. Not to correct you, I find Ohio State fans completely annoying. Not mostly. I, I'm sure you, you know, do. And that includes you, who I genuinely like I'm personally. I'm sure you do. Um, and which is why I'm just going to tell you, you know, I think Justin Fields is going to be very successful. And plus, all he's got to do is just be marginally better than Mike Tomzak or Kent Graham. And he's the greatest Ohio State yeah, quarterback no, in the history of the NFL. Yeah, I knew this was coming, too. So, you know, um, you know so <laughs> this that's it. pointed it's out to me the bar, You know, like, there's a bar, and it's set, like, you know, it's down here. Down here. Right, especially when the bar yeah. being set by the greatest Michigan quarterback back to ever play in the NFL. Like there's a no, roof no, here no, and no, we got to go over the very not, top. That's not even like fair. we got to go above. You got to, I, I don't even know if I can reach up. Michigan. That's just the greatest quarterback. Ever. And I've told you this. Yes. I was not a Tom Brady fan at all. Why? Because he played in Michigan. Okay. And now I find like, I'm a big Tom Brady fan because I'm getting older in my sport and in racing, you know, you age and man, the aches and the pains and how do I stay ahead of it? Now I'm competing with kids that are my, when I started, I was 18, you know, and now you've got kids that are 21, 22, you know, young that are doing this. And I'm right. like, you know, I, I, how do I stay ahead of this? Right. And yet you see Brady and you start to, as a guy like me who competes in a whole different sport, right? Indy car racing, very different than the NFL. No, but it's just, but you can appreciate how has this guy been able to do it? How does he bounce, yeah. you know, back and forth? And I had, we had a couple uh, players come to the St. Pete, uh, Scotty Miller was one of them. Yes. And asking him about Brady and the mental aspect. He said, this all week. I mean, he pounded into everybody's head, Super Bowl week. We're going to win. This is how we're going to win. This is what we're going to do. And then, you know, you take that in my sport, and how, how, do, how can I keep my mechanics fired up? How do I get my engineers, you know, engaged every single weekend? Mm. Um, there's a lot you can pull, let alone the keeping your body healthy and all that stuff. But I found myself to be a big fan. I mean, he's not just the greatest Michigan quarterback. He's the greatest to ever play this. And if you, you look at the record, it's staggering, like, we have a guy in our sport, Scott Dixon, yes. who's the same. And if you look at Scott Dixon's record, you look at how many wins Scott Dixon has versus how many races he's competed in, yeah. the percentage is ridiculous. Now you look at the amount of top fives he's had or top tens. That Those records will never be broken. Like you can't, you know, it's like 70% of the time he finishes in the top 10 in a race. When you think in racing, how many DNFs you have because something fails or somebody punts you and takes you out or you know, just all of these random mistakes that you may you, mm-hmm. you may make. You look at his record, and it's like Brady. It's just how how do you beat that? 
You know, how do you, uh, it's, uh, it's staggering. And so you find yourself being a fan and trying to figure out what you can learn from somebody in that, in that position. And the crazy thing is, you know, he he was going to go to Michigan too. I don't know if you're aware of that. I'm sorry. Scott no, Dixon? Was, no, I'm sorry. That was Jeter. My bad. I was going to say Scott <laughs> And Madonna. I'm sorry. Um, my bad. And just, Madonna. <laughs> you know, just all-time greats. Just Madonna saying. did go to Michigan. Oh. All right, so I'm going to ask you. If, if, if uh, Harbaugh loses to, to uh, Ohio State or Michigan oh, State this year. He's not going anywhere. He's you think he anywhere. stays? I th- of course he does. Yes, of course he does. You really think he's the answer? I don't want to. You know what? Here's the deal. I just noticed this. You have come in here, <laughs> which I'm thrilled about. And you just, come here. You haven't said in a split. You haven't even said what are we going to do this November? You because you're you're. I've been waiting for you to ask. Me. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not going there. I, and because there's nothing. There's no more gear that you can put me in. Like yeah, I, that's I, the problem. Like I've we've already like out of. exactly like we're we're done. We're done. Like I can't. I don't know what to do. Yeah. I don't, so I don't think. But I, I'm not going to go there yet. I mean, I I just like what I've seen so far. They're running the heck out of the ball. I and I know I, I I might be accused of talking up an opponent, but Rutgers is three and zero, and you know Shiano. They you doing you a good job. They, I know they they are three and zero. There's not and, as many weak links anymore. Nope. You know Shiano's so, gonna do we go. well. Maryland can can play here or there. You know they're gonna put up some points. Like yeah, they got there's a, a lot of schools that can own. exactly that, that, that can that can surprise you. And at the same time, it's yeah. like whether you're Ohio State, you're Michigan, whoever you are, you're yeah. always gonna get everybody's best shot. Period. They're gonna throw it all at you, and that's where like Shiano. Even with Rutgers last year against Ohio State, like he's throwing every yeah. trick, trick, trick play in the book at no him. No doubt. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.